Really. Okay, great job. And you know, how Green Lantern savvy did you have to be to be to be him? Uh, well, you got to know a little bit. I, I didn't know everything about the character. In fact, I, admittedly, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Green Lantern growing up. I didn't know much about. It. I knew the basic kind of story, but uh, um, you know, as I, I got a pretty quick. And, 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 and comprehensive education as soon as I started uh, yeah. uh, the movie. Yeah, sure. what was you know going through your mind? Because, you know, let's face it, I say, I mean, he's a very popular character. Mm -hmm. You've got all these fans, all this pressure that must be on you. Yeah. Like, what's going through your mind? Well, look, it's a, it's a collective team effort. I mean, I, I'm only as good as the, the director and the, you know, the, the, the special effects people involved. But, but you know, I, as soon as I got the role, I, I really looked at the th what I felt was very important, which is what is, it, what is it that attracted the fanboys to this character to begin with? Why do they love him so much? And um, how can we service them and then still service a broader audience? Because I think this movie is also designed for, you know, uh, kids and adults alike, you know? So it's, it's, uh, you want to make sure that it's palatable for everybody, but at the same time, you can't forget what it is that they, they fell in love with about this character to begin with. So. Yeah, what was it like for you, Ryan, the very first time, you know, you put on the ring, you put the mask on, you say the oath. Yeah. I mean, three cool things here. Yeah, you, uh, it's very cool, but you try not to put too much into that when you're shooting it because, yeah. you know, every, I always look at every take that you shoot as a rehearsal. It's just, you just, you know, they're going to figure out what they want, so I'm just trying different things in every one. So, um, you know, but you definitely think there's, this is not, not an insignificant moment. This is a big, big deal. And, uh, uh, that's exciting, you know. The little kid in me was like, "Ooh, I'm a superhero." Yeah. How about that? How yeah. about that? Yeah. Uh, saying the oath, like, was it hard getting yeah. that uh, memorized? <laughs> um, well, you don't want to get that wrong, because uh, because there there are people out there that will find you and they will take your life <laughs> in horrible ways. Uh, so no, you want to get that right. But um, I actually kind of knew the oath oh. early on before I even got the role. I, I somehow knew that, but I didn't know that much about the mythology. Yeah. So. Um, get to get in shape for it too. I mean, you're always in great shape, and you're always training for everything nice. that you do. <laughs> sure. But, but <laughs> this one, you know, you're, you've got to be digitally enhanced a little <laughs> bit here, and uh, you know, what's that like? Well, there's the CGI aspect, which is that the suit in the mythology, the the character is made of energy. It's made of will. Right. So he he manifests it that way. So that's not something I can physically put on every day. So so that had to be rendered by computers. But um, no, you you you. you it's part of the deal. You get the movie like this, you gotta take a big deep breath and go, it's gonna be a long year of not eating what I want and being in gyms and all that sort of thing. But then when you're done, you get to just go back home and you know, sit on the couch and shrink. <laughs> what yeah. was the reaction when you first saw yourself, like the very first rushes or whatever it was, or when the, it was started to get digitally painted yeah. in and then you see it for the first time? And well, I, I, don't, I don't watch rushes or any of that stuff. I'm not one of those actors. I, but but um, I do, I did, I was mystified when I saw the suit the first time in motion when I saw a, a moment they, 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 early on in the process they'd, they'd captured 10 seconds of me walking around in the suit mm -hmm. and um, that was pretty amazing. Yeah. That was an amazing moment where I thought, oh, okay, this is, this is gonna work. It's gonna take a long time in post-production, but this is gonna work. Yeah, yeah. The, the effects are yeah. insane. It's, it's I mean, they're, yeah. they're so good. I'm sure they could have spent another year on it. I mean, there's these guys, they don't, you know, they, they always feel like there's just never enough time. So. Yeah, and you're walking around in this motion capture suit for most of the film, you know, because you're, everything's so digitally done. Yeah. You know, what's that like for you to, to do that? Well, that's tough. I mean, you're, it's not easy because you're, you're spending six months in a box, in a big blue box in Louisiana, and, you know, there's, there's a whole world around you that, that you're not able to react to unless you really have to access your imagination. So um, we had Grant Major, who's a, uh, from the Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. as, our, as our, our, one of our production designers, and he's amazing. I mean, just this, the artwork he'd bring down and show me what, here's what you're looking at right now, and here's, here's what's behind you, and here's what's beside you. And um, that, that helped immeasurably. So that really let me kind of fully embody the character and just mm -hmm. kind of be in that world. Otherwise, I, would, I think I would always feel like I'm just in a blue box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the flying. Tell me about that. The first time you were ever like shot, phew, you know, wow. A lot of flying, yeah. <laughs> a lot of flying. It was not, uh, it was not that difficult actually. It was, it's, it's just so fast. You know, these things, you move at 50 feet a second um, on these wires and it's, uh, uh, you know, you, you, once you stop, you feel like your brains and your organs are all still back where you started from. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty tough stuff, but you get you get used to it. You build up a bit of a tolerance to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got some great people to work off of in this film. Let's start yeah. with Peter Sarsgaard because man, yeah, yeah. blew me away in this yeah, movie. Peter's like, amazing. Wow, how yeah. do you even look at him when he was in full makeup and not like <laughs> break into laughter or feel sorry for the guy? Well, I felt both. I mean, you know, he's he does such a great kind of camp thing in this movie, which is so fantastic. And this movie doesn't. 
you know, this isn't the Dark Knight in the sense that it's taking itself so seriously. It's it's it has a bit of fun with this genre, and and, uh, and Peter really helped with that. He because because to do that and be a villain is a very difficult job to have. It's a difficult job to be saddled with, really. Um, and he just he was so colorful and so much fun. And I I mean I cracked up in so many takes with him. I mean you know he's he's a uh, he's a hilarious guy. I didn't even know that before I met him. So. Very dry. He's nice. I think he's got the same kind of sense of humor as you do. I think. Yeah, he's got it. He's a little dry. Yeah, he's got that thing. Yeah, he's he's fantastic. <laughs> and Blake. Yeah. Wow, you guys, you know, yeah, they hit it off there. Yeah, right? it worked. Yeah, how'd you I, like working yeah. with her? She's great. She's great. She's uh, she's always cooking stuff. So she made my life a little bit difficult for showing up to set with, you know, a small army of cupcakes every day. See, no, yeah, she, we talked about the sprinkles. She likes the sprinkles cupcakes. Yeah, she's really into that. Yeah, I liked I liked the ones that she would cook. Oh. Those are those are the ones she'd bake these, everything. I mean, every, on set she would say, I'm sure every member of the crew gained twenty pounds around her. <laughs> But she just mysteriously nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have so much coming in uh, in your life and stuff. But I have to mention that that buried. I didn't get to talk to you in Toronto for that. But mm. my God, like, <laughs> what a challenge that had to have been. Yeah, I mean, just, that was a that was a, an intense like great learning experience. session. I would think for that. Yeah, I mean, not unlike Lantern in the sense that it was all imagination. You didn't. I didn't have anyone in there. I didn't have anyone on the phone with me other than one actor who read all the roles. So it was. Uh, it was. Um, it was a tough job, but I love I loved it. I love that director so much. You did so a great, much. great job. Okay, now I'd be remiss if I did not mention the Stanley Cup. Hello. I know. Canadian and Vancouver. We're Dude, so you close. must be like. We're so close. I just don't want to get tear gassed again. Man, last time this, they, they were in the Stanley Cup, there was a riot in Vancouver. I wasn't even at the game. I was just trying to get home. I was like, why? why? Is that, that's tear gas. <laughs> I'm going to throw up in someone's car. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling so well. So I think this time they're going to they're gonna win. And the fans are going to embrace it as uh, in, in the, the, the greatest spirit of, of good fellowship as possible. I know there's not going to be any problems. No. It's going to be amazing. But yeah, I'm watching it every 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 day. It's on. So. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm not tonight, even. Gonna... Tonight's the next game. Yeah, yeah. tonight's the next game. Well, yeah. fingers crossed. And like I said, fingers crossed for this. I know we'll be seeing lots more of you in that little yeah. green suit, which oh, well. I have no problem with. That's oh, good. me neither. Congratulations. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> Great Appreciate it. All right. Nice to see you again. You Thank too. you so Take much. Care. Good luck with everything. <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully okay. we'll catch you next Thanks. time when we're in Toronto. Yeah,